Hey guys, how you doing? This is LaQueen of Battle First Aid Responder Services um, here in my office here in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Just want to go ahead and give you guys a shout out. Hello, um, and just uh, pretty much, guys, let you know what's going to be informed about what's going on here for the month of August, right? Okay, so August the 17th to the 20th is going to be the Democratic National Convention. Now, again, it's going to be in Milwaukee. Everything is virtual with the DNC as well as with the Republican National Convention, but there's still going to be events going on in uh, Milwaukee. I'm just trying to figure out um, around the city. It's going to be a, probably a little bit under 500 people at the convention. There's still going to be speakers at the events there's still gonna be caucus meetings committee meetings going on at the events but um, the the physical DNC is still gonna be there in Milwaukee but pretty much about 75% of the event is going to be broadcasted on the internet virtual okay so I have to be sure to be my computer as well as get another computer too okay great so I have that the next thing the next on the to-do list is of course um, is of course the uh, Republican National Convention. Okay, so the Republican National Convention is August the 24th through the 27th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, Trump and his administration did move it to, uh, they would have the first day in Charlotte and then the second day in um, Pensacola, Florida. But unfortunately, because of COVID, because of the rise of COVID in Florida, they decided to go ahead and bring it back up here to Charlotte. So the whole weeks of events is going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I will be also there helping out the Republican National Committee, committee and around the city. There's going to be committee meetings. There's going to be delegations. There's going to be about 300 delegates at the, both the... Um, the uh, Republican and the National Convention. Now, the D Democratic Committee, Democratic Committee, told the super delegates and that delegates and all the senators not to come to the convention. But on the Republican side, they are as well informed about not to come because of COVID to Charlotte. But there's still going to be a group of delegates that are going to be that are going to be arriving in Charlotte. I'm not sure sure about Milwaukee, but they'll be arriving in Charlotte for the uh for the convention okay there's gonna be about two three hundred delegates to take over all the delegates for the rnc as well as there might be maybe like 100 delegates at the at the committee at the convention in uh, milwaukee but i'm not really sure i don't have a count yet so pretty much i'm um, guys the dnc is a week away and the rnc is two weeks away i will be at both events as well as the national march on washington sponsored by nan and al shoppers committee i will be there friday august the 28th in washington dc helping out from charlotte going to dc easy 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 walk all right so guys keep me in keep me your thoughts and prayers now i really want to go ahead and continue to focus to be on transparency about what's going on with the current administration what's going on again you know i do have my spirit talks as well as my physical talks and and pretty much my COVID research webinars all that i've been a little bit behind my event bright webinars i really do apologize about that to you youtube and to all my family um and support support people and my volunteers i really do apologize but i'm trying to get some help i'm really trying to get some help some pas staff asap okay so the main thing the main focus is of course COVID recovery okay now cities like boston new york chicago not los angeles not anything west or south right now everything on the east coast is pretty much get a map i got five maps Okay, I pretty much got five maps. I'm here in my office. I'm standing. I've got so much junk. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a better, better view. Okay, that's a better view. You guys want to come to my office? <laughs> it still needs, I still need a lot of help. I'm still getting it together. And I was going to buy another thing today. <laughs> okay. It is a hot mess. Okay. Literally. <laughs> all right so bear with me guys okay the main issue with COVID recovery right now is as you notice COVID started 2020 it started about January February it really really kind of fell off a little bit but really the flu season 
It was the originally the start of the flu season. On the start of the flu season, which is regularly around August, July, August, September, October, September, October, that is the beginning of the flu season, the regular flu season. But this this year's flu season went a little bit out of control. Okay, now as you guys know in my other talks and my Facebook and Twitter and all that talks, I talk about the spiritual aspect of witchcraft, which is great. But at the same time, though, we have to re, 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 relate it to science and related to regular science and the regular natural rhythms of life. Now, the regular flu season starts between September and August, September, October. Okay, which is common sense. It's great. It's common sense. So the regular flu season this past year in 2020, 2019 started in... Um, August, September, okay, it really, really came about on the East Coast. It really hit, okay, New York, Maine, okay, it really hit the big cities on the East Coast first because that is where, and then it also hit LA too, okay, because Wuhan, China is East, it's Far East, okay, Far East, okay, Wuhan, China. And then if you turn, if you make a, I'm going to get that globe today. If you make a globe, a map of the world, then it goes all, if you turn the world around from China, make a map of the globe, guess who's next? Guess who's coming to China? Okay. You have, you have the, um, the Russian coast of the United States. Okay. So the major big cities got, major big cities got hit by the coronavirus. New York, Boston, Philadelphia. Uh, all parts of upstate New York got hit fast. Upstate New York, upstate New York and New York City got hit faster, but it really happened in upstate New York. Canada, Canada also got hit. Quebec, Quebec and Ottawa, Quebec and Ottawa got hit first, and then it transferred. Really, it got from Wuhan to the middle to um, India. Then from India to Europe, and that's how usually how the, the flu spreads. It spreads from east to west, okay? Now, the, what I'm trying to say is that the movement, the natural rhythm, pattern, flow of this virus, you have to understand it. Because usually, if you have something like a virus, it has to die. It has to fall off in its natural phase of state, in its natural life, in its natural phase, okay? So usually, what happens is the human body receives the virus and then the human body has to build up antibodies which is normal you receive a virus you 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 go through the process the symptoms and everything like that and then your body has to fight resist the re fight against the virus you resist it and then from resisting the virus and then it has to build up the antibodies which is normal which is normal everybody knows that. everybody dr fauci tells it everybody cuomo everybody knows it, okay but as well as what's happening is that people in the northern part of the United States have more antibodies against this virus because we've already been exposed to it rather than people in the southern hemisphere. You see what I'm saying? So people in the southern hemisphere are now getting the symptoms of the COVID virus rather than people from from people that in the north have already been exposed to and have already recovered or recovered out of the symptoms of it. You see what I'm saying? So it's very important that as this virus progresses, what's going on down south now is spreading further south. Now it's becoming more mainstream and a little bit out of control. It still has not caused the government to reopen. And that's what is going on with the political elections. They're canceling a lot of conventions, big, big conventions, music festivals, concerts. The basketball season is now starting again, which is good, but they're still not letting back a lot of large scale events. A lot of churches are not still open, as well as libraries. Libraries and public facilities are still not open. So that is another issue that needs to be, ad be addressed now. Okay, understand. There are more, there's more population of people in the Northern Hemisphere of the United States. Okay, there is a bigger population of people in the Northern Hemisphere, Northeastern Hemisphere of the United States than there is down South. Okay, but because of the migration of people from the East to the South, okay, they, all the people went back home. Now it's becoming, this illness has still not dissipated, this virus, okay? The, re the way a virus really dissipates is, like I said before in my webinar, it has to deal with the proper methods of killing off a virus. You're killing off a virus. The main thing is cleaning, sanitizing, and infection control, 
and containing it. That's pretty much about it, okay? Because a virus is spreads. Like, you know, you can demonize it. You can spread it. It's mass produced, okay? The, the, the best way to kill off a virus is pretty much infection control, quarantine, and containing it. Literally, containment which I did talk about in my webinar, containment, containment and infection control. That is mainly the only easiest way to deal with something that our human bodies have, have never been exposed to. That's why they're calling it the COVID-19 coronavirus because it's, it's a corona. It is a tornado of other illnesses that have been exposed, other viruses that have been dormant or that are now our human virus has to deal with this one superbug rather than a combination of previous less affluent illnesses than before. Okay, you understand? So now this coronavirus is a super, super virus. It's a super bug that our human bodies are not able to recover because now we're not only having to deal with the last year's 2018 uh, regular flu season, but now we have to deal with the chicken flu, the bird flu, and last flu season, as well as SARS all together in one big superbug that has not only affected the East, Northern Eastern, but is now going widespread into the whole entire continent of North America. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to take a lot more time for these uh, other si big cities, Southern cities, Southern states to recover. Now, okay, here we go. Here's, go. Here's the queen talk, okay? Here's my spirit stuff, my, my little pink glasses. Okay, now, the Corona COVID-19 virus is not a sign of the end times. <laughs> it's not a sign of... Okay, there's a difference between witchcraft and there's a difference between a normal rhythm pattern of flow of health, of medicine. It's normal, okay? This COVID-19 virus is a normal part of life. What this COVID-19 virus is telling us is telling us that, that science is developing into more new ways. And so what happened is that the lab technicians in Wuhan, China, tried to contain this super virus, okay? Because usually the, the flu, the flu season, the flu bug develops gets worse and worse every single year. It gets worse and worse every, every single flu season, every single six months, every single three or six months. It gets worse. It's getting stronger, stronger, and stronger. So what these lab technologists in China were trying to do, where they were trying to figure out a way to do research on, on the flu bug as well as to contain it. And they tried to contain it as much as they could in China. But you know, China is a country of 2 billion people. And it's hard to contain a virus in a country of 2 or 3 billion people, especially those in the far out suburbs area, okay? So what has to happen is that now it's, it's pretty much cleared out in China and cleared out in parts of Europe. And Europe is put, pretty much putting barricades on letting American tourists into Europe, okay? Now I'm talking, even London, even Paris, even Germany, they are actually putting blockades and not allowing American tourists to come into their borders, okay, which is really sad for tourism. But they have to figure out a way to contain the virus, okay? Now, that's Europe, that's China, that's India, that's different. What happens if, it, if it's in America, it is still worldwide spread, transmission spread. The transmission is able to be spread worldwide, which means if it's already in, in, in America, it is still has the opportunity to go right back to Europe, to go right back to China and start all over again. Okay? Start all, all, all. The cycle will start all over again. So here's where it comes in. We have to develop more research and figure out who has the symptoms? What are the symptoms showing? Are these new symptoms? Or are they the same symptoms as everybody else? Do people in the northeastern coast of the part of the United States have the same symptoms as people in Florida and Texas and Atlanta? Do you know what I'm saying? Do people share the same symptoms? Are is the strain different? Is the flu strain stronger in the in the in New York and Boston and Chicago? Or is it or is it weaker now in New York? Or is it stronger in Miami? It just depends. And that's what happens usually. That's what happened when this when the Spanish flu of 1918 hit. It was weaker in the cities that it was already exposed to and stronger in the new cities. Okay? So it killed 
more people on the end of his course. See how that works? Okay, so at the beginning of his course, it didn't kill anybody. But at the end of his course, that's when it killed more and more people. That's how the Spanish flu was able to kill over 300,000 people because, again, the people in the further farmlands were able to get the community the news that this flu was coming okay people got the news at the last minute and so they were able to de develop resistance again against it it was killing their farm it was killing their 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 pastures it was killing their animals it was killing their plants it was killing everything okay so again the best thing to do in this virus is, a, of course, of course, of course, have clear communication about what is going on in in New York, in Chicago, in Boston, at Harvard, at MIT, in all these medical universities, as well as L.A. L.A. is another issue, okay? Governor, Governor Newsom is going through what's going on in L.A., as well as what's going on in Cuomo, what's going on in Texas, Abbott, you've got to develop a way of clear communication beyond, beyond people's, beyond, you know, witchcraft and the rise of witchcraft and the rise of spirituality. A lot of church, churches are still not open, which is, you know, causes a lot of people to lose faith. It's also causing more naturally, it's causing depression because people are not able to find a release to get out of their their spiritual hunger, they're not able to find a release to get away from being comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, they, they deal with a lot of anxiety, deal with a lot of depression issues from being comfed up in the house all the time. This the natural progressive rhythm of life, okay? It's natural. That is natural, okay? Now, the main thing is to deal with, you have to deal with infested control, containment, as well as make sure that there is, okay, making sure that there is communication, Seriously, seriously, clear communication between between medical districts, between hospitals, between doctors, between scientists, between every every single official that is involved in this crisis. You have to have communication. Seriously, on top, all these protests right now, what's going on in the election is great. It's great. Witchcraft, you know, you have a lot of hate groups still in the in the in the vicinity. We'll do that on another issue. The economy, unemployment is at its highest. You'll do that on another issue. Mental health, suicide, depression is, is getting stronger, stronger, stronger. We'll do, we'll do that on another issue. But the main important thing right now that the officials need to focus on at these conventions, Republican National Convention, the Democratic National Convention, as well as the current upcoming debates in August, September, October, and eventually Super Tuesday, they have to make sure that they have clear communication between both sides. Seriously, 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 seriously. You've got to have clear communication on both sides. That is the best way to do it. If, you're, if your side says no and the other party says yes, you've got to make it clear. We say no, that's a no. The party says yes, no. We say no and we mean a no. That has it has to be a clear, confined communication goal. That is it. Seriously, okay. One side is exposed to this every single day, so that's what they're going to be exposed to. Do you know what I'm saying? You have different different methods, different ways of communication. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. But you still have to develop different methods in order to get out what needs to be cleared out. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, so. Clear communication between every single media outlet as well as all government officials. It has to be clear communications. I'm so glad for the press conferences between um, between Charlie um, Bibalazio, Bibalazio, um, Boston's uh, governor, <laughs> Massachusetts governor. <laughs> This guy, <laughs> this guy, okay? So clear communication between the governors, the mayors, and all legislative people involved in this COVID-19 crisis recovery. You've got to have clear communication. That is the only way to get out an issue. Seriously, you've got to be able to have clear communication as well as, okay, Containment of the situation, making sure this virus is contained, everybody is exposed to everybody in their own zone, as well as, okay, as well as proper testing. Testing every single day. I mean, testing, testing, testing. Testing, containment, and infection control. That is seriously the only way you're going to deal with this issue, okay? 
The only way, okay, especially when you have something that's worldwide, you've got to be able to have clear communications on both sides, okay? So Milwaukee Convention says, we're not going to have any senators to be exposed to this illness, so it's canceled. The only thing's going to be viral. I understand it's going to be over the internet. I'm going to say, you know what, you know what, but I'm still going to go to Milwaukee just in case anybody shows up and just in case the, 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 the committee in Milwaukee needs me. I will be in Milwaukee just in case, but I will also be tested before I go to Milwaukee as well as to Charlotte. Come right back here to, to Boston, get tested again. Go to Charlotte. Make sure they have resources. I'm going to buy like five thermometers. Seriously, I'm gonna, I need thermometers. I need thermometers. Make sure that I get thermometers to get tested, okay? As well as come back here, go go get tested in Charlotte, go to D.C. Have to test some more people in D.C. Because we've got to figure out a way to contain this issue. Containment as well as communication. That is seriously, seriously, seriously the main issues that need to be addressed. Containment and communication. Okay, so that is my, my my YouTube video for today. We've got to be sure it's happened before. It's going to happen again. The 1918 Spanish flu happened. The swine flu happened. The chicken flu happened. The pig flu happened. All of these, the, 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 the strain of the flu season is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger every single day. Every single day. It's getting every single year. The season, the flu season, the, the strain, stronger and stronger and stronger. What we can do about it is we can continue to talk with other individuals, our family members, call them on the phone, make sure they're okay in different cities as well as the people that we see every day on the streets, making sure they're okay. You get me, guys? You get me. Okay. So I'm making sure that they're okay, getting out there, doing the resources, doing the things that we have to do in order to take care of business and making sure that, you know, we're exposed, we're doing what we can, as well as pretty much taking care of our own health, our own well-being, as well as the other well-being of our families and loved ones, okay? And then on top of that, the community as a whole, okay? So you've got to start off small and then work your way up to a bigger, bigger influence, okay? That's the only way it's going to work. Seriously, seriously, that is the only way it's going to work. Okay, you had to have clear communication goals as well as containment of the issue. Infects the control, control, communication control, and containment. That is it. Seriously. Seriously. Okay, all right. So this is LaQueen Battle from Battle First Aid Responsibility, Battle First Aid Responder Services. I will be in both conventions. I know that the DNC has been canceled, but it's still there. People are going to be at the at the at the stadium on a smaller level, as well as excuse me, as well as going to committee meetings and other meetings that are be happening at the convention virtually as well as in person. I will be there. Okay, and then the Charlotte. RNC convention is still going to be happening for three or four days in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. Trump will not be present and Biden will not be present due to precautions with the, um, due to precautions with the virus. Okay. Now people come to my office all the time. I don't know what they're looking for. I have no idea what they're looking for. No, I don't know if they're looking for money or whatever, but it's boring. Okay. Still, I have to be able to provide services. And you are more than welcome to come into here to my office, schedule an appointment with me. We could do a great talk. We could do an assessment. We could do a mental health assessment. We could do a, I have a regular, I do I do peer-to-peer -peer counseling. I do peer-to-peer -peer counseling uh, assessments as well as pretty, pretty much basic first aid services because that's what I'm authorized and certified to do under my, um, under my d uh, duty of care, okay? I'm available to do that. That's great. Call me. Um, my phone number here in Boston is 857-353-0173. That is my business phone. Also, my office is 857-267-5541. I'm here in Boston, downtown Boston, Massachusetts. My office, come in here, see me anytime. I have, we have conference rooms. We can get together for a conference room. We can talk about what's going on in your life, what's going on in your family's life. We could do group studies together. We could talk about health, mental health, well-being, as well as, you know, if you're going through issues with your child, come and talk to me. I'm available here in downtown Boston. I love, I love people. Um, so if you have any issues you want to address or you just want to do any kind of peer support, peer counseling, as well as a basic clear assessment, I can do that as well. Again, 
This Laqueen Battle First Aid Responder Services, and I will be having CPR first aid classes very soon, very soon. Okay, guys, so keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I love you guys. This is Laqueen from Battle First Aid Responder Services here at my downtown headquarters office in Boston, Massachusetts. I will be looking to expand in New York in a couple months, as well as work my way up to Chicago and eventually back to Texas, Do it, having some offices there as well, because I'm a hot mess. But I love helping out the community. I love helping out the community. Sometimes it stinks being a doctor because because you've got to be at different places at the same time because people need your services that the community lacks as well as being a nursing professional you have to be you have to be everywhere at the same time and all you pretty much do is just be there seriously just sit and watch and observe it sucks but sometimes you do what you got to do seriously seriously most of the time all doctors and nurses do is just observe <laughs> Literally, literally, a nurse's job is just to nurse, just to observe you, check on you, and that's it. <laughs> that's a nurse. That's a nurse. Just to observe and check on you, pretty much. That's just how it is, as well as a doctor. Check on you, making sure you're, you're doing okay. Regular, regular assessments, regular, regular appointments, okay? It's normal. Life is normal, okay? Still, we've got to continue the progress and continue our goals, okay? I need these glasses. I am looking for some more glasses. I have the stigmatism in this eye. A little bit okay so guys this is a queen battle um come and see me in my office my uh, my business phone number again is 857-267-5541 also you can reach me at 857-353-0173 okay guys please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers we all need a little help, a little help at the same time okay again one more time it's all about three main important issues dealing with COVID recovery it's getting worse right now down south that that means even though you have been exposed to it and recover it on the east coast in, in new york chicago boston philly even though your city may have got it now it's going down south which means what which means it's going to start killing more and more and more people than it kill up north. So we have to be a, a lot more cautious because Dr. Fossey is really not addressing the concern that, okay, we've already had 200, 300 people, 300,000 people die worldwide. What are we going to do now? Okay. And you know, Mexico City is a city of over 20 million people, just Mexico City by itself. Okay. Now, when the, when the flu virus gets to Florida, Texas, Atlanta, and then it hits Mexico, that's another issue that we need to address, okay, right now. The border, the border situation, which Trump is not talking about. <laughs> He's not talking about the, the border situation between Mexico and the United States. The Canadian border is closed to American tourists, but between Mexico and the United States, he needs to keep that border open. He needs to keep that trade open. That's what he's talking about, Goya. But once that COVID virus hits can hits Mexico, that is going to be another issue by itself. So we've got to keep, again, one more time, we've got to keep communication valves open as much as we can possible. Keep the communication open. Keep it open as much as possible as you can. Seriously. You come to my office, I'm, my doors are always open, literally. Okay, but I know what they're looking for. <laughs> but you've got to keep communication open okay communication control and containment that is the main issue that needs to be addressed seriously seriously communication control and containment that is pretty much about it okay all right again i love you guys the queen certified medical assistance communicate community health and certified adult and pediatric aid i love you guys keep me in your thoughts and prayers bye